Hey, what's happening guys? Um, we're gonna continue our filter series today with a high pass filter. If you wonder why I paused there writing, so I could look at the screen and make sure it was actually in camera. Okay, you remember from our last video on the low pass filter, what it looked like. We had a resistor and a capacitor going to ground and our signal came in here. And when it reached the cutoff frequency, anything higher than the cutoff frequency was attenuated. Well, the low pass filter is simply the opposite of that. So our input comes in, goes through the capacitor to a resistor to ground. This is a first order low pass filter. So anything higher than the cutoff frequency passes, anything lower is attenuated. And again, the formula is exactly the same. The cutoff frequency is the reciprocal of two pi RC. Once again, there's that RC time constant that we talked about before that is so important in electronics. Now the reason the high, high pass filter works is because the reactance of the capacitor is very high at low frequencies, so it acts like an open circuit. And it blocks or attenuates those low frequencies, but the, the reactance drops at higher frequencies, allowing more of the signal to pass. Now, when we put our filter together, if we remember, as our resistance rises, our cutoff frequency drops. And as our capacitance rises, our cutoff frequency increases. Okay, all pretty simple. So I set one up here for us, right here. What we've got here is an input for our function generator going through what I measured as a 222 nanofarad capacitor. Then it goes through our adjustable decade resistance box, which in this case is set at 1K. So for this particular filter, our cutoff frequency is the reciprocal of two pi times one times two, two, two. So let's bring in a calculator and see if it works. Let me zoom in on here so this works. Okay, so two pi, two times, yeah, screwed that up already, didn't I? Two times 3.14. And you guys can't even see that, can you? Let me make it brighter. Now you can see it. 2 times 3.14 equals 6.28 times 1,000 times 222 two, two, and the reciprocal. And we get 7.17 figure out the math, it's going to be somewhere around 700 hertz or so. So there's the math. There is the concept and the theory. Now let's do it practically. Put a frequency generator into this and oscilloscope on it. If you look here, I've got a point for our input frequency and a point for our output frequency. Okay, our high pass filter is here on the breadboard. The gray and the white wires here are the input from the function generator. The white is the signal, the gray is the ground. It's going first through this capacitor and then through these wires here, which go through this 
decade resistance box and you can see it is set for 1k and that's a 222 nanofarad capacitor now let's go up and look at the equipment pardon me while we adjust things around here okay first of all there is our function generator and you can see our frequency is 2.79 kilohertz now we're going to get in here and take a look at the scope and if you look at the hardware frequency counter right here you can see it is set for 2.79 kilohertz now if we look at our waveforms I'm gonna drop the blue waveform down here okay the yellow channel 1 is our input waveform the blue channel 2 is our filtered waveform and now I will bring them back up and you can see that they are of mostly equal amplitude although there is a slight phase shift and that's at the frequency of 2.79 kilohertz and if I take it up higher everything is fine so we're up to what three kilohertz now I'm gonna go up to uh, over three megahertz and as we bring this out you can see again everything is copacetic all right let's come back down here and we're back at 3.2 kilohertz now let's start bringing the frequency down and at some point we're going to begin to see the attenuation let me adjust the time while i do this okay now you can see the attenuation is starting at around 747 hertz and as we drop lower more and more of that attenuated signal is lost until we get down here to 90 hertz and you can see that that signal is basically gone so let's come back up here to well, 1.8 kilohertz and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out that 220 nano capacitor and I'm going to put in its place a 64 nano capacitor and we'll see what kind of difference that makes for our frequency response okay it's in and now you can see we have major attenuation at our 1.88 kilohertz so let's take the frequency up and find the point where it starts okay right around right around there right at 11 kilohertz it starts and as we drop down lower and lower at 900 hertz or so, uh, 440 hertz we are almost completely attenuated so there is a practical example of a high pass filter i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all my patrons that's it i'm out peace